Good morning, dogs, and welcome to the morning announcements. Cheer, prom, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is the last day to purchase prom tickets. Get your permission slips and money in by the end of the day. They are now $35, so get them before it's too late. Also, juniors, Ms. Peer and the Junior Class Student Council need your help on decorating prom tomorrow afternoon. If you are interested, please email Ms. Peer. Help would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you missed the cheer call-out meeting, it is not too late to be part of the team. There will be a cheer tryout practice tomorrow, Friday, April 14th, from 8 to 10 a.m. in Auxiliary Gym. If you are interested in cheerleading, please plan to attend this practice. Step out of your comfort zone and join the Frankfurt Cheer for the 2023-2024 school year. The coaches are excited about their plans for this year and want you to be part of the excitement. Now I'll send it to Carlos with some sports news. What's up, dogs? We traveled 11 on last night as we took game one, the Tigers seeked vengeance in game two, and a tough loss eight to three as we split the series and we'll travel to Kokomo tomorrow night. And the JV took a tough loss seven to one. And the track team travels to North Montgomery to run in the Charger Relays. And that's all for sports. I'm sending it off to whoever cuts to. Hurry, the time expires. Just a heads up, give, Mr. Cre give credit to Mr. Everett for teaching the students how to change a flat tire. For lunch today, lines in, in lines one and two will be chicken smackers, and in lines three and four will be Big Daddy's Pizza. And a special happy birthday goes out to Yasmin Galvez and L L Lila Nice. Well, that's all for the morning announcements today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy your three-day weekend, dogs, and, and this nice upcoming weather for this week.